Welcome to Web Style Press. Let's create a pure CSS based toggle. No JavaScript or any library involved. This toggle will also have smooth transition. Here we have got a section. Inside section we have got input and label and then a div. This div will be toggled. When we'll click at label. And this label is connected to input. Our input is checkbox here, not radio button. And you see this ID, this input's ID. This input is connected with this label and label is using for attribute and this id is being used here that is why both are connected when you will click at this label this input will be checked or unchecked and for first input we have used checked attribute here to make it checked by default we are using input checkbox for this example because multiple checkboxes can be checked or unchecked. This is a toggle, so we need checkbox here. If I want to create an accordion, I will need to use radio buttons here. Also, see the input and label relation that I have just mentioned. Inputs or checkboxes can have separate names. These names can be separate. So these checkboxes may not be in the same group. Checkbox is outside of label, but it is connected to the label by using for attribute for label. Input's unique ID is being used in for attribute of label. So even if input is outside of label, when I will click at the label, input will be checked or unchecked. We will hide original checkboxes and use label click to check or uncheck checkbox. Okay, we need more sections that will be toggled. Here are two more sections. Notice the pattern of label, input and div and then input IDs and four attributes value for labels. This is a section here input has got ID S3 and its label has got four attribute S3. Name is T3, name is different. And then here input ID S2 for attribute S2 and this is checkbox here ID S1 for attribute S1 and name is different here this is for the HTML so we have got something like this the area that will be toggled is here we have got input next to input is label and then next to label is our div that will be toggled now we will style these elements this is our css and we have got this section and label and div and the input for this section let's use white background for the label border bottom background color cursor pointer display block some padding margin zero and position relative we will use its pseudo element to show plus or minus sign here for checked or unchecked states this is for the after and we are using content inside content we have got code for this plus icon and then its position is absolute it's got some right positioning top and transform to make it vertically centered in this area and uh, its opacity and simple stuff so we've got our label and if I click at this label you see this uh, checkbox is being checked and unchecked Then we have got div. This div is our content area that will be toggled. So from start it will be hidden. 
it has a color max height is zero so it is hidden and visibility is also hidden from start everything is hidden for our area that is being toggled and its overflow is also hidden also let's use static here static means everything inside div we are applying styles here for everything that is inside div and we just want simply opacity to be zero for contents inside div and here is our main control here are inputs that will be checked or unchecked based on checked or unchecked inputs we will toggle divs that are next to input so we need checked state for the input and here it is also we need checked state for input to select CSS pseudo element after for the label so if input is checked element next to it is label and then element next to label is div so do something for div if input is checked max height will be 100% height that content will need and visibility visible opacity 1 and some padding and for content inside div opacity will be 1 also for this plus this should be changed to minus to show that this area is opened so now if I uncheck this input our area is closed so this is working right now we don't need to show these inputs so actual input is hidden so this is fine now we need some transition here you know this is abrupt this toggle is abrupt if we want some kind of nice transition here this is our div that is being toggled for this for these properties we will apply some transition here transition for all CSS properties duration is 0.8 seconds and this is transition type is and also for this area contents inside div same transition and this transition is applied at regular state okay now if now we check this we see a nice smooth transition here for the toggle our icon is being changed and area is being toggled and this is toggle not accordion beautiful right everything is this control for checked state of input look for elements that are next to it label and after that div this plus is a css selector that selects next element and we are using max height and visibility and opacity to change this okay like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video